Okay, so today we're gonna create a fire effect using trap code particular. So as usual, I'm gonna start with a fresh scene, fresh composition. I'm gonna work with uh, 1280 by 720 pixels because uh, it previews quite fast. Uh, 25 frames a second and duration, I'm gonna make 75. Click OK. Uh, next, I'm gonna create a background solid, just a black solid. I'm gonna call this BG. And now I'm gonna create another solid for my particular layer. I'm gonna call this part, make it a slightly different color maybe. Click OK. Okay, so I'm gonna go to effect trap code uh, particular and we get this uh, default emission. So first I'm gonna change some settings. Um, so I'm gonna set the velocity to 440 and I'm gonna make this um, directional and I'm gonna make the emitter type a box. Next, I'm gonna go down to physics, uh, gravity, and and I'm gonna set gravity to uh, minus 460 so the particles are moving up, like so. So I'm just gonna move this down a bit. You can click and drag it down to the corner. I'm just gonna play this back Okay, so I'm gonna change a few more settings. I'm gonna just increase the particles slightly to about 400. And I'm gonna make the uh, particle size much bigger. I'm gonna set it to about 25. And I'm just gonna reduce the life down to about 1.1 uh, maybe. Uh, next, I'm gonna to go to turbulence, so air um, turbulence field, where it says effect position. I'm going to set effect position to 34, effect size maybe 2. I'm just going to play this back and um, doesn't look like much, but the motion kind of looks like fire. Okay. So I'm just going to adjust the size over life curve. Um, I'm going to choose this bell curve effect and same with opacity. It's just one of the presets. Um, it'll work for now. Okay, so this doesn't look like much. Um, I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna find in my effects and presets panel, a CC vector blur. And I'm gonna apply this to the adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna give it an amount of about uh, in the 20s. Play this back. And we get this nice effect. Okay, opacity is a bit high. Um, might reduce the particle sizes down slightly while that's running. I'm just gonna increase uh, the feathering of the spheres. And um, in my turbulence settings, I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch and I'm gonna type time multiplied by uh, 25. And then for the evolution um, offset, I'm just going to add the same thing, alt click, time times 25, just to give it a bit of uh, undulation. Play this back, let's preview it quickly. Okay, uh, you can turn on motion blur in the particles, so I'm just going to go to particular uh, rendering and motion blur, and where it says comp settings, just turn it on, gives it that kind of a bit of motion blur, you can play with the increase the shutter angle to make the blur more extreme. And the vector blur, um, I'm just gonna make it a bit softer. So it's a lot of um, playing around with settings basically. You don't have to copy this uh, tutorial exactly. I mean, just um, keep a mental note of all the important uh, properties and you can adjust these to your taste. Okay, so next, uh, to make this look like fire, I'm gonna add another adjustment layer. And this time I'm gonna use Colorama. And I'm gonna drop that onto my new adjustment layer. Uh, where it says output cycle, I'm gonna choose a preset, fire. And we get uh, a kind of generic fire effect. It looks a bit better, better than white. Play this back. Okay, you can uh, play with the uh, settings here. 
can pull these out. I think there's too many um, color pickers, so you can just get rid of some of them. You have to basically click and pull, click and pull. I think we're okay with just these colors. Uh, you can rotate them around the wheel to adjust the brightness in the center there. about there is a bit better like fire and I mean I could just keep tweaking and tweaking and tweaking but um, I think I'm gonna leave it there just to garnish it uh, just add an adjustment layer and uh, stylize glow you want to adjust the threshold to about the middle there uh, increase the radius and then maybe just reduce the intensity slightly and I just might make a few quick tweaks. Uh, you can reduce the size. You can reduce the size and then increase the particles a second, which gives you a much uh, different effect, kind of more like fierce fire. I'm just gonna preview this. So that's like a more fierce kind of fire. Uh, needs a bit of work, but looks quite good.